I'm Nick with Decker Does It. Today we're going to do a review on Auto Soul Metal Polish. What's up guys? We're going to do a review on Auto Soul Metal Polish. I bought this stuff on Amazon this week. It's about $8 a tube. The reason why I bought this stuff, my 2002 Indian has a lot of chrome on it. It's got real fine scuffs in it. And I'm hopefully this stuff will take some of them scuffs out. I don't expect it to take it completely out because I think these scuffs are a little too deep to, uh, to get it look like it was when it was new, but at least help blend it in a little bit. It's made in Germany. I don't know nothing about this product. I just bought it off of uh, kind of like Amazon reviews. Car, motorcycle, uh, semi-truck, boat, Buddha, stove. What's that? That's a sink and a watch. So I take it it does all kinds of metals as far as chrome, nickel, stainless steel, Let's see if it's any good. I know it smells terrible. It smells like uh, turtle wax, but like 10 times stronger. Maybe that's a good sign. Let's go try it out. Just to give you an idea how much chrome is on this thing. It's been a great bike. I've, I've done a lot of work to it. It runs great now get down here and I'll show you what I'm talking about if you see right here it's got you can see a little bit of the chrome still in it but it's almost hazy looking you see all these fine scratches that go across here it's like it's been rubbed with something it doesn't look like this where it's just complete mirror and I'm using the microfiber towel. It's a brand new one, so it's never had anything on it. But I can wipe this. And it's clean. There's a little spot on it right here. But it's got them scratches in it. And it's driving me nuts. If I can get up here closer, you can see it. Yeah, you can see them scratches. It's nothing like this. But, hopefully the auto sole will take care of it. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna take a little dab of it. Put it on the rag and do circular motion on it. Take another side of this cloth. It's clean. See what happens. I can tell you that the scratches are starting to come out, it looks like. But these scratches are so deep. It's going to take more elbow grease, it looks like.
But I'll tell you what. It's looking better, definitely. It's just going to keep taking more work. Definitely coming out. You try some of this high gloss spray sealant. It's a pretty good detailer. Put this on there. I know once you do polish on stuff like this, it's good to go over it with a wax to help put a protectant back on it. From a distance, I can tell a big difference in it. As far as scuffs, I don't know. I've got a scuff on this breather also, right here. I think you can see that. I can try that spot, see if that'll work. It's definitely a nice polish. It's also going to do, take some work. This is one of my winter projects. Fixing the oil leak on this bike and then giving it a good polish it's polishing parts I'm dreading because it's not easy to clean a motorcycle although it's not big as a vehicle there's definitely a lot more detail and a whole lot harder spots to get into and clean and it takes a bit of elbow grease too I don't know what do you guys think Leave something in the comments. Let you let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe if you like this video or videos like this. I think the chrome looks good. At least from a distance, I can tell the difference in it. But you get right up on it. But. I'm just trying to get the chrome out. I know it's never going to look new again. We're just trying to get the scratches out of the chrome as much as I can. Morning, everybody. It's just a little update clip of uh, I've been using this the Auto Soul uh, metal polish this morning. Uh, finally got a chance to get the bike out. I was probably going to go for a ride today. It's a beautiful day. And just waiting for it to warm up just a little bit. And uh, figured I'd try to polish on this bike a little bit more. And I do have to say, this stuff, this stuff's good. I like it. Yeah. It's easy to work with. It's easy to go put it on, take it off. Uh, I think it does a great job. I just got done wiping the bike down. And I hit this in a couple other spots too, and I'll point them out as I go around the bike. But I don't sell it's pretty good stuff. Check it out. There's that old candy. You can see the previous video of my hand look. Kind of just muffled in it. It brought it out. I think I can hit it just a little bit more. There's some I think if I keep polishing on it, it'll come out. Good. You got that scuff out that was on top of the breather. I hit my front forks.
because I had maybe five minutes on it, so I'm sure it'll get more if I put more time on it. I hit my controls up here just a little bit. Hit my headlock. I'll do this for it. Use my shift linkage because it was really oxidized. I need a little bit more time on it, but you got some of the mirror. Brought some of the mirror back out in it. You can see I almost need to disassemble this thing and really get down into it. And my uh, belt guard, it was really scuffed too, but. You can tell it, it needs more, but it's starting to come out. I also need to hit this belt drive, but I'll do it over the winter. I'll probably have to take the wheel off to do that, to get it good. Like I said, Check this stuff out. It's good stuff. Eight bucks, Amazon. I'll put the link in the comments. Y'all have a good day.